everyone. Um, today I'll be reviewing the Hunter Hydrowise Pro HC12 stations. We will be unboxing, connecting to power, and commencing with the system updates if any need to be performed. Right, let's take a look inside. Inside the box, you will get your uh, owner's manual, set of two keys, some mounting screws and plugs, and of course the, the hydro wires itself. To connect the hydro wires to um, the power, you need to open up the open up the front door. There's a flap over here that needs to be opened. All your power connections take place in this little area over here. To easily access this, um, it's preferable to remove the, this flap over here, which you can do by pulling, pulling over there until the hinge comes out, and you can just place that to one side. Then if you grab a star screwdriver and we remove this screw over here, you'll have access to all your power controls. Let's go ahead and do that now. Okay. Good, let's remove that. Right, uh, all the connections are clearly marked, making it very easy for connection. You'll have Earth, Live and Neutral positioned over here and all we need to do is go ahead and connect that to power which we're going to do that do right now over here we have our power cable now please um, please don't work with power that's already connected to the um, to the mains please ensure that your power is off before you start commencing with connections we're just going to go ahead and um, loosen the connectors connections on this connector block and then connect up the, the power to here obviously neutral to neutral live to live and earth or ground to ground at this point um, you can go ahead and Put back the cover plate um, for your own protection. Um, when working with mains power, we always need to be cautious and to avoid shock, I always recommend um, having this covered before connecting the computer to mains power. And then put the front cover of the computer back on. Now your Hunter HydroWise is ready to be plugged in. Right, first thing that you um, that you'll see is um, you'll be faced with a screen asking you if you want to connect to your Wi-Fi network. We're going to go ahead and do that right now. HydroWise will now scan for um, wireless networks. Please make sure your wireless is in range. Hit OK, and I'm going to go ahead and um, um, select the um, access point that I'm going to be connecting to. At this point, you need to put in your wireless password. And then HydroWise will attempt to connect to the network. At this point, you get a um, successfully connected to the network message, and then the opportunity to connect it um, to your HydroWise account. Now, I always recommend at this point just leaving the controller for half an hour and not doing anything. Um, 
just so that it can run any updates if it is needed. While we wait for um, the hydrolyze to perform any updates, if there are any to be performed, I recommend that you go ahead and create a hydrolyze account. Right, you can open up and start your first account by going to try now. And then register now. Type in all your account details. and register. In my case, I've already registered for account. That's why I'm getting this message. Otherwise, if you are opening up a new account, you will receive a confirmation email and you can follow the province from the confirmation email to conclude the registration of, um, of your Hydrowise account and then we're going to commence with connecting the Hydrowise controller to your account. You will have received a registration email from Hydrowise. Go ahead and click that and follow the prompts. At this point you need to create your password and then you will be faced with a screen where you would um, run the setup wizard. Choose a name for your controller. And then enter the controller serial number. This will either have popped up on your screen or I'll show you where you can find it on the controller itself. The serial number can be found over here and this is what you'll be entering in on the, on the screen. Having located the serial number, you can now enter it here. Seeing as that you've already connected your controller to the Wi-Fi, um, you can hit no over here. I always recommend going for advanced mode. To fully reap the benefits of all the features that Hunter Hydrowise has to offer, you need to go for the advanced mode. And there you have it, you're ready to add your first zone. We will show you how to do this in a future video. That's all for now, and I am Jared, thank you for watching.